Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches here on SAR Histories where on the channel today we will be visiting St Peter's Church, Hickson, Staffordshire. St Peter's Church was built in the 1800s to the early English Gothic style and was designed by the English Gothic Revival architect George Gilbert Scott. The site for the church was given by Lord Talbot and had previously been occupied by a windmill. This gives the church an unusual location on high ground, away from the road on the edge of the village. The foundation stone was laid by the Marchioness of Lutheran in July 1846. The church was consecrated on St Peter's Day 1848 by then Bishop of Lichfield John Lonsdale. The Doomsday Book of 1086 records Hickson as having no church, and in the survey the village has the name Huston. It was described as being very small, with five households. The village assets included two ploughs, a meadow and three acres. In 1066 the Lord of the Manor was the Bishop of Chester, then in 1086 the Lord of the Manor was Nigel of Stratford and the Bishop of Chester was now the tenant-in-chief. The survey also states the value of the parish was 10 shillings, 9 pence. The original village name, Huston, is believed to be of Scandinavian origin. The first part, Huss, is thought to be the Viking word for house. The last part, Dun, is an Old English word for hill, so giving the origins as the house on the hill. During the Second World War, Hickson was the location of a Royal Air Force station built for RAF Bomber Command. The station opened in 1942, serving as a base for operational training unit, and after the OTU left, it served as a satellite site for Number 16 Maintenance Unit based at RAF Stratford up until its closure in 1957. Though inside lacks the splendour of other churches that I have visited, it was no less welcoming with a countryside aura to it, and it is evident that there is great affection when tending to the church. There are beautiful stained glass windows, an organ and a memorial to those that fell in the two world wars to be seen. Though the church is small, it is possible to spend some time here, especially if you have ancestors in the area that you are looking for, for which I would highly recommend visiting as most of the graves date from the 1800s onwards, or if you're just wanting a peaceful place for prayer and reflection. The graveyard has many old graves and, like the church, is well maintained and easy to walk around. Most of the headstones are in a good condition to read, though a few have crumbled or too weather-worn to make out any detail. On the 6th of January 1968, a 120-ton transformer was being moved from the English Electricity Factory at Stafford to storage on the disused airfield at Hickston. The road train grounded on the level crossings at New Road, Hickson. An express train from Manchester London Road to Euston ran into the transformer. Sadly, 11 people were killed and 27 more seriously injured. 
The memorial to those that sadly died in the accident can be found in the churchyard and is kept in a magnificent condition so that they are remembered. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time for another episode of Historical Churches. Until then, goodbye.